Hi, welcome to the first video review on Musician News. I'm starting out with the new Synapse Audio's Dune. It's a uh, subtractive synth VST for Windows and VST and audio units for Mac plugin. Um, Dune has three oscillators. Uh, oscillators one and two are identical. They have saw, pulse, sine, and then you can also select 69 different wavetables for each oscillator. So you can have different ones under each oscillator. Uh, Dune has three banks, A, B, and C, uh, with 128 patches in each bank. It has modulation matrices, so you can uh, have sources and then modulate different parameters. We'll get into that. It has an arpeggiator, which has a lot of unique features also in it. The oscillator 3 is an octave lower, and it's synced with oscillator 1, and it gives it that nice uh, low-end sound. It also has a noise generator which uh, makes white noise which contains all the frequencies and that adds a nice little coloring into the sound. When the waveforms of oscillator 1 or 2 are selected on pulse, you can get some interesting effects using the pulse width, which adjusts the duty cycle of the pulse waveforms for oscillators 1 and 2. Also, there is ring modulation, <clears throat> which can be applied to the oscillators 1 and 2, and it multiplies them with each other. Actually, one is modulating the other in its amplitude. There's also an FM mode, frequency modulation, and there's three different modes. In the first mode, the 1, 2, FBK, oscillator 1 is the modulation source, while oscillator 2 is the destination. The amount of FM1 determines how strongly the second oscillator is affected by the first. In the dual mode, the same is still true. Oscillator 1 is the modulation source and oscillator 2 is the destination and but oscillator 2 moving this makes it so it is modulating itself the filter section in the upper right has 18 different modes um, this one here is low pass, band pass, high pass which in the uh, turn to the left is low pass. The center position, it's a band pass. And then all the way right is high pass. We also have a distortion. split. We also have resonance. 
the output of the filter is fed back to its input, which gives you resonance. Okay, the real strength of the Dune is this modulation matrix. The strength of uh, subtractive synthesis is the ease of use of all these parameters because there's a fixed structure and a limited set of parameters. But this modulation matrix allows the user to create some very complex patches. You can select a source and then link it to almost any parameter in Dune, and all three LFOs can be linked to the same source, such as filter cutoff. You can create some real interesting rhythmic patterns. Because they're all having different rates, so they can affect uh, the rhythmic nature of that sound. Plus, the really cool part is this differential unison engine where you can target individual voices rather than all the unison voices in there. So you can affect right now just voice 2 with LFO 2 and voice 3 with LFO 3. Or uh, you can pick um, something like, say, volume with LFO 3. We could pick, say, the pan of volume two. So you can also link in uh, different MIDI controllers, say like an expression pedal, pitch bend, a mod wheel, um, to affect a different parameter in there. Have filter decay. We can do, uh, say, the filter decay. Here's what Anyway, you get the point. Dune offers a really easy interface for getting started if you're a novice synth designer like me. Or if you are an advanced user, you have this modulation matrix which allows you just almost unlimited amounts of modulating. You can even modulate itself different sources. So um, anyway, they have a free demo download that you can check it out. There's just all kinds of different sounds. You got FM sounds, wavetable sounds. So you've got some really nice electronic dance kinds of sounds, plus some traditional percussive and uh, keyboard types of sound. So uh, overall, I would give it probably a 9 out of 10, because definitely one of the coolest soft scents that I've seen in a long time. Synapse Dune. Check it out.